Okay, sorry if there's some noises, but I, I, it's a weekend and the kid is home. But yeah, I was thinking I would actually uh, take you along with me. I was about to give water to these plants and since I did repot them at the same time. So when I noticed that this one, it was growing really nice looking root there. And it's gone. And there's a little hint of um, mushroomy smell in the media. I was thinking like, I guess I should actually take it off. The thing is, these are staying really in hot and humid environment in the Ballodarium. So I'm not su surprised if they are degrading a bit faster than anything else. And so... This is the Guldiana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for a moment I was like, yeah, did I take the right one? So this is the one I didn't enjoy. Yeah, so as I expected, I had three plants. Uh, one of them got uh, all mushy and, and rot rotted off. And I can see there is, this one had this eye and that one I can see there are eyes and I'm sure this new growth is soon going to uh, grow a new pseudobulb or the roots I mean. So I'm taking, putting them into a new media because it's like, I don't want to risk it uh, with the roots and as you can see the pseudobulbs are wrinkly and I really don't like that. That's not good if you have... Seedling, seedlings. So... Let's see... Um, uh, this was uh, this is a new suitable. It was one of those uh, which got eaten by the thrips. So the leaves, I mean, it had leaves, but the thrips, uh, the thrips damage was really too much. And I think uh, this has lost all of its seedling roots. I can see new root th tip there and I can see it's actually greening up that other root which is nice. I'm probably going to keep them in the same pot even afterwards since they've used to that. Um, this is all wrinkly as well. I'm trying to get off the seeds. Um, let's see. So there's a new eye coming. So this is growing as well. It has a little bit. This, I'm going to lose this uh, root probably soon, but that's like, yeah, it's a little bit like funny plant. Hold on a sec. Trying to see if there's any kind of movement. I'm probably going to give it like a something to cover it, but yeah. Okay, um, now that I have smaller pots, I think I could actually take one of these. I uh, might take actually this one and put them together there. I can separate them when they are grown, grown up more here still. Mm. So this is the Tenebrosa aurea, and the funny part was that it looked like 
it was going to be uh, Vanda. But evidently it's not. Um, Ladia or Catalea tenebrosa seems to have really thick and um, junky root system. Uh, this root is a goner. I'll take that off. These are in, in, uh, sitting in the same water or the... So they are sharing a little bit. So it's not like if they have something, they have something. I've kept them on the same uh, tray or saucer. I think that's the saucer because it's it's not tray. It's a... So this one has the new suitable there which seems odd, but I think I saw that eye moving a bit earlier. So yeah, this is definitely a Cattleya. Cattleya, I think. Okay, so I'll clean this off. And um, since I don't need to um, use any, any like uh, disinfector or anything like that, because they have been in this my own media, we can actually continue with the reporting. So I go and get some media. Just a sec. So this is quite heavy on perlite. Oh, and you want to come with me, don't come. So let's start. I need to put the old together so it's not going to disturb the new one and you can still see something I'm trying to be more, more mindful of positioning you so that you can actually see something I know it would be easier to actually clean this off and then continue with this one but Honestly, I didn't plan to actually make a video now, so it's my Sunday. I want to relax. So let's go with this one. Hoping now it would actually have a little bit more room to actually grow new roots and not to go closer to the media so it won't get bad that fast, I hope. No. So, where is it either? Either. Gosh, I don't remember how to pronounce anymore. So, what do you think? Too low or too high? I think it's quite okay. I don't want to uh, raise it more to cause it to actually. too high because it's like um, the roots are not going to be that good if it's way too high but yeah let's see if you can actually see more now I think that's okay don't you so that was Guldiana hopefully it's going to be a little more airy Next this time, I didn't save on the I think I take this kind of pot so because this is only have this one more 
probably two roots. there. I think that does it and it's full of perlite so it should be really airy mix. So this is the Lelia Tenebrosa which seems to be Tenebrosa and I'm hoping it's going to continue being Tenebrosa. Constantly checking that there isn't any thrift damage but yeah. So thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye.